get out of the comfort zone there. Good day, each and every one of you. This is the second um, session in terms of daily devotions. I am Anish Roberts. And yes, I was chanting back to school because it's back to school time. August is, is fast, you know, it, it's going very fast. And as the time you blink, it's going to be school time. So, I want to first off start by thanking my senior pastors, Reverend Lloyd and Norma Hart, for this opportunity. I am really excited and elated to share with you, especially as a social worker. I love children, you know, and I love to, to, to share my knowledge, all right, in terms of my profession. So, I want to first off start by saying a word of prayer. So, let's bow our hearts. Father, we thank you, oh God, that, you know, we, we, we thank you, oh God, that you are God and you are God alone. And Father, whoever student may be feeling depressed, oh God, they may be feeling anxiety, they may be feeling so many emotions. Father, we thank you, oh God, that you are going to be their very present help in the time of trouble, in the time of need. So, Father, I ask, oh God, that you send the peace of your Holy Spirit to each and every student, oh God, and each and every family, oh God, as they prepare to go out to school. And we say this prayer in no other name but the mighty name of Jesus. And everybody says, Amen. Yes. So, students, so as you go back to school in a new term, you are going to experience a lot of emotions and a lot of challenges. Now, when we talk about emotions, some of the emotions you may experience would be things like sadness, fear, anxiety, and even worry. Because as we know, with COVID-19 and this new school term, there is a lot of uncertainty. But I don't want you to fear because God has not given us a spirit of fear. All right, but we want to be brave and bold. All right, amen. But when I want to, one of the scriptures, when I sit and I think about the attitude I want you as students to, to, to you know, develop, I think about the scripture that talks about be anxious for nothing, but through prayer and supplication, hallelujah, with thanksgiving, make your request known unto God. God knows your needs. Students, I don't know who I'm talking to this morning, but there is somebody that may be feeling depressed. They, they really don't know what's going to happen in September. I want you to be calm and just rest in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, because he's got you. He's got this. All right? Don't forget our convention, you know, saying, God's got this. All right? So I want you to be calm. So in terms of managing emotions, it is very, very important in terms of you as students to be successful by the way that you manage your emotions. All right? So I want to talk about the three R's very briefly and I would have jotted down some things. So please, you know, bear with me this, you know, bear with me today. Now the first R is regulate. All right? And it's about helping children to calm stress responses. So when we talk about the stress responses, we talk about the fight or flight. You're standing still or you're making your move because of danger. Fight or flight. What can we do? So when I say we, let me say you all, right? Because I'm not a parent as yet. So what can you do as parents? Now as, social, as a social worker, I always tell parents that you as parents are basically the support systems, the main support systems for your children, all right? And being a support system, you have to show them comfort, and that's what we talk about regulating. It talks about showing comfort, and it reassures your children. It's about you as parents reassuring your children that everything is going to be okay. And even in the challenging times, you as parents are going to be their comfort and their, their, their support. All right? Now, the second thing is relate. We need to connect, all right? We need to connect with our child. You as parents need to connect with your children. Their feelings need to be va um, validated, all right? So they know that you really see them for who they are. Don't tell your children, you know, um, 
This doesn't matter. Oh, make them feel inferior. You are to continue to be support systems for them and empathize with them. All right, children? So your parents are going to give you support and they're going to empathize with you. The third R, because I said three R's, the third R is reason. And reason is act opposite or act appropriate. It says also, once the child is calm and connected, they are able to engage in learning what to do. All right? So children, I want to leave you all with this. Students, let me know that I say children, but students, all right? Students. Um, I just want to leave this with you. Be calm. As the scripture says, be anxious for nothing. Do not be alarmed. God's got this and God is in control. No matter what changes occur, no matter what, you know, because God is not what I realize with the God that we serve. He is not moved by changes. Everything is in, under his control. He's not surprised by anything. All right. And so should we not be surprised by things, but we should be able to adapt and overcome. And parents, I know parents are looking too, and it's student week, but parents, I urge you to continue, you know, to, to, to continue to be that support system for your children. So this is Anish Robert signing out. I just want you to look forward for tomorrow's daily devotion given by yours truly, Anish Roberts again. Thank you.